<laughs> you gotta hit the shit. Thanks. The mic's not gonna fit that shit anyways. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> What's up, y'all, man? We back with explicit content. Another season of real, raw, and uncut topics. Today, I got my boy Law with me. What's up, man? How you feeling? Hey, man. What's going on, man? I'm living my life, living my life. All right, man. So, start of 2020. <laughs> how you been, man? What's going on? What's new for you? 2020, man. Moving silent. Shh. Okay. You know what All I'm right. saying? Speaking of silence, just, uh, that's perfect. So 2020, we had uh, Grammys pop up. Billie Ellis, I didn't know who she was. I knew she was not really a fan, not didn't know too much about her, but she came through, silently stole the Grammys. What you got to think about that? What you know about it? I don't think it was silent. Um, right, it, it wasn't, but I, was, I, I wasn't hip. I was seeing her in the headlines, and you know, she has a a larger crowd and the audience that she captivates, you know, they're going to go out and vote. And those are the, you know, tastemakers and stuff like that. So it wasn't really surprising, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's it, what is surprising about her is, I'll say it's like how outspoken she is. She like the white NBA young boy. <laughs> I mean, you can say that. You can say that. She, she remind, got 770 she like, on YouTube. Right? Uh, Charles Barkley though, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, she be coming with the fake Gucci and shit. Like, because if Cardi wore the fake Gucci, it's not flying. The whole black community going to oh, yeah, put sure. her down. But Billy Ellis get on the ground. It's season. custom when, when she do Yeah, it's custom, right. Custom. But nah, all right, so you feel me on top of music. What do you think about these albums that have been coming out uh, early 2020? Who you looking forward to or what you heard you, are, you um, like already? My favorite album this year, I would say, had to be that Marlo first and the third. And then what else I've been liking? Um, I like Johnny Cinco Hood, Drake. Um, you said my Apple Music. I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else. That A Boogie came out this weekend. I was looking I'm forward not, to I'm it. I'm not a real big A Boogie fan. I was looking forward to it, but it didn't It didn't give me what I need. I'm looking forward to Youngboy dropped this month. He dropped the 24th for the 20th. I don't listen to NBA Youngboy. Hey, man. Tekka finally dropped that single too. IDK, that's a, it was a hot single. He had a lot of traction on that. I don't know if you're a little Tekka fan, but. He been he been trying to take the storm by the game by storm. I like people who rap about where they live. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Tekka, no. Who is it? Hey boogie, hey boogie might be out here breaking your heart. Baby, you know yeah, rap about what you live though. Baby's supposed to drop this month too. I think after February. Little baby? No, little baby. He's supposed to drop that. He came, like, his single was uh, something to prove. Who you think better, the baby or little baby? Little baby. He harder. How? He's harder because, bro. I don't. <sighs> This is a, this is a real conversation because I think the baby, you know, the baby, bro. Like I, I watched him grow personally, and, and I can say kind of the same because I remember the baby was Baby Jesus on SoundCloud, but I feel like I remember little baby was in the West End Mall, you know, in the West End Mall. You seen him? I have. I got a video. Me and Walker. Hey, yeah. yeah. uh, now you know everybody. I'm not saying I know him, but I, I said it's, it's, a, it's a more personal relationship. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's a more personal relationship. I feel like he's a. You feel me? It's like, bro. bro you, it's like your little bro, bro goes to the NBA. You feel me? I'm not. I'm not saying he's little bro or nothing. I'm just saying it's a more personal relationship. So that's why you're saying that he's harder than him. To he's, me, he's not. In my he's not actually harder than him. You just saying that because you. In my opinion. In my opinion. I think mean, he's a harder rapper. I like his song. Who he put in the game? Who? Right, he, okay, he put Mar or not Marlo. Uh, uh, he put a little bit of Marlo in. That's his homie. He got four PF coming. He hard. didn't put Marlo in the game. QC put him in the game. But he's 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 the opening the door for them. What about four PF? Stunner going crazy. Four times. Okay. Billion dollar billion dollar baby. Four times. Okay. Yeah, we we we'll see. So you think what? But that's what I'm saying. Who 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 does billion dollar baby got rapping for them like QC? But they they independent. What you mean, baby's a CEO? That's like if little baby QC's was a CEO of QC. QC's independent. But that's right. like if little baby was a CEO of QC. But, but he, he can't not. be a CEO of QC. That's why he started for PM. And that's why the baby is a CEO of BDBAT. All right, we gonna see your baby sometime. Your little baby sometime. So you, you got you got the baby. That's what you tell me. For sure. Okay. I'm locked in with the baby. All right. So baby, know how, how we come, man. <laughs> All right, but look, yeah. back in 2002, today, what's it say, April 16th? 2002, no, April man. 16th. Today is February 16th. Damn, I'm tripping. <laughs> Cut that. I don't know why I said, why that? No, we can't do that. Nah, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> See, that was Cut good that right there. That was nah, good. we got it good now. That I don't was know. good. But anyway, today in hip hop, man, Nelly dropped his single, Hot In Here. That's Cap. It's not. Bro, today's not April 16th. It's February. The, the, you the, were in a book. It said April 16th. I looked up April? Yeah. Oh. For real? Yeah. Now I gotta look again. How much you wanna bet? I don't wanna bet on it. Uh, bed blunt. So I'm right. Bed blunt. 
Ah, it's one of the one anyway. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> All right, yeah, so this is the book. Uh, we're gonna be putting out this book. It's Today in Hip Hop History by Chuck D. Hey, man, I should have wrote this book. You did what I'm saying? You don't Chuck even D. know that much, bro. Chuck D, I'm gonna see you in court, my boy. <laughs> Check this out, man. What year you said it was? I said, I got, uh, today is February 16th. I got, but you said it's April. That's 2002. Yeah, that was in April. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that right there. But look, let's go to February 16th, or let's try to at least get close. All right, um, what year, what year, what year? I wanna say 1996, year Kobe Bryant was drafted. Let's go to 1996. Let's see what's going on, what happened, what happened that year? Well, let's go to 1998, because it's All-Star game, that was the first time he was in the All-Star game. So let's go to 1998. I just love Kobe Bryant. 1998, February 17th, that's pretty close. Still the Shocker releases his second studio album, Charge It to the Game, on mm. No Limit Records. You did what I'm saying? You know about No Limit. Hey, man, I don't know much, but Real Snoop Dogg Perth. was on No Limit. I messed with Snoop Dogg, for sure. Real Percy Miller. For sure. Key Miller was a boss. Hey, man. Master P. That's black history, for sure. Master, yeah, Master P is black history, for real. Black, black independent filmmaker. Everything. Not independent film ever. <laughs> Shout out to uh, yeah, Director P. <laughs> so we got Master P, Director P. He did. All saying. right. So look, let's, 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 we, it's, like we're speaking on some black history. What you We're supposed to be speaking on some love. You got a, you had a Valentine? No. You, you did? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you was in the strip club. You saw that stripper fall? No, nah, I didn't. I did see that. <laughs> Cheap you, you donated That's to the GoFundMe? You seem like you'll do nah. some of that shit. I, that, I mean, it's the same if you go in a strip club and give her money. You might as well donate to the GoFundMe. I'm not going to. I'll give her, like, I'll put two dollars on the GoFundMe. Two, maybe five. No. Oh. If anything, I'm trying to figure out how to take take a dollar from the GoFundMe. If anything, <laughs> I need reparations. What, yeah, you, you feel like we get reparations this year? Hell no. Nah. If we get reparations, what you want? If we were to get reparations, I would want, um, I need me a state. A state? A state. A state, okay, okay. I'm yeah. like, a state, nigga? That's Man. all you want, bro? Yeah, I need a whole state. <laughs> nah, yeah, that, that's for I don't want no check. Give me some land. Yeah, Give me some land, for real. Because by the time they actually figure out the yeah, reparations, yeah, I'm going to have money. So. I need the citizens, nigga. I need the, all the social security cards. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't even know what you're going to do with them <laughs> Uh, but nah, man. So February, it's, it's a lot going on. We got All Star Weekend this year. They they switched it up this year. They got a uh, Team Kobe versus Team Giannis. How you nah, feel about? Team it? I mean, Team LeBron is R. P. Kobe. R. P. Kobe. Boy, niggas turned up too much last up, night. R. P. Kobe. I'm thinking about Kobe, man. Can't get Kobe uh, on my mind. Now you can't get Kobe on your mind. Get Kobe on mind. Uh, what was your What was your favorite Kobe Bryant memory? Oh, I, I wasn't, all right, so I'll be real. I wasn't really a Kobe fan. I'm a LeBron fan uh, growing too, up. Because I had my older cousin. He was a real Kobe fan. Yeah, so I couldn't, I. like, dick ride. You feel me? Like, you can have Kobe, bro. I'm a LeBron. And I ain't going to lie. I always like Hummers. When LeBron bought that, his OG at Hummer, that was the best shit ever, bro. I'm like, this nigga the GOAT, bro, early. Favorite, he still is the GOAT. My he favorite Kobe memory school. was, like, when they had the Nike Hyper Dunk 2010s. And then he jumped over the car. Uh, yeah, That's he, my favorite one. But I'm saying the they had the Marty McFly colorway. Oh. Okay. Or the Nike Hyper Dunk 22. Either his last game when he dropped 60, because I remember I, I was in high school, I was watching that. Me and my homies, was, well, me and my homies on FaceTime watching that game. That, cause that was crazy. Like or, that. or when he beat the Celtics for the championship. I remember that too. But when he jumped over that car, that shit was hard. I'm like, I okay, this shit hard. I don't think, and remember he was a rapper too? He had a yeah. Destiny Child video? No, nah, he, he did a music video with Brian and I too. Yeah, nah, the NBA players really used to be on the rap scene. Shaq went platinum. Shout out Shay. Sure. Did you? What song? He had, had an album that was platinum. He had a uh, big public. And that was he hard. had a biggie feature on there. It was hard to go platinum back then too. They ain't had no streams. I mean, yeah, but when you shot, you gotta think about it, bro. You on the TV playing the NBA and I'm you gotta play the album. It, it was still harder to go platinum back then. <laughs> Not a shot though, bro. Okay, so he was cheating. I'm so just he saying. had the, he had the songs before the streaming for him. Because yes, he was like, bro, he's viral. Like if you know what I'm saying, he was viral before viral was viral. He had yeah, because he was he on had TV. A shoe, with a phone in it, bro. Yeah, that's black history. <laughs> right, come on, that is man. black history. Shaq is a telecommunications giant. God damn. <laughs> Ain't he a Morehouse professor? 
Can't beat that, bro. So uh, who you think gonna win the All Star game? Team oh. Team LeBron or Team Giannis? I don't know who they got. Was it? Go the roster. But look, I I I don't know it off heart, but I know LeBron team is super stacked, and Giannis team like a bunch of not scrubs, but you feel me? He needs some some players. Some, hey, some franchise. I don't players. know about this, but it, I just read, bro. NBA All Star Weekend gets three thousand strippers in Chicago. Yeah, it's going up in Chicago. Shout out to Offset and Kid Capri. The factory going up. I, I bet. Yep, Club Factory. Oh, what I say? The, the factory going up, bro. Factory. The factory going up. Club um, uh, Club. You said Club O. That's in yeah. that's in Harvey. That's going up. Um, and they got V Live in Chicago. They got V Live in Chicago. They they will dancers will wear basketball uniforms to start anyway. I know. So and of course, there high school club, will be VIP sections just for the NBA studs, man. I mean, I, I was going to go to Chicago for All-Star Weekend. They told me 3500 a section. No, sir. Man, I don't do the club, dog. Yeah. But, no, nah, yeah, pull that, get that roster. Let's compare these teams real quick. LeBron, so LeBron got Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is from Chicago, too. He been he been putting on hard for the All-Star Weekend. I was pretty upset that D-Rose dropped out of the steel comp- skill competition. Like, wanted him to show his skills in his hometown. Man. NBA don't love D Rose, bro. Why you say that? They don't, bro. He's I don't in, know. In NBA, NBA don't love none of these players, bro. He's in the NBA love D Rose. We saw that when they made him play out the Kobe dad. Everybody was on the court crying. NBA don't care, LeBron man. LeBron got Harden, nope. Durant, Kyrie. How's KD an All Star? We need to add in effects after every name. How, how's KD an All Star though? He not even playing. LeBron anymore. got straight. He is. Yeah. Is he playing in the All Star game? Yeah, Kawhi Leonard. Damn, Kawhi Leonard only a three-time All Star. Kawhi, Kawhi been he been he been coming up. He had to collab with Joe too. We gonna talk about that uh, too. AD, Ben Simmons, Bradley Bill, Damian Lillard, D Wade. What the hell? This must be from last year. No, bro. Yeah, this from last year. Uh, it's not. That was from last year, bro. It said D Wade. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. All right, here we go. So LeBron, AD, James Harden, Kawhi, Luka, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Damn. Jokic, Simmons, Sabonis. Who the fuck is that? He played for Indiana. And then Russell Westbrook, coached by Frank Vogel. Then they got Giannis, who Giannis, yeah. Giannis MB, Pascal, <laughs> Kemba Walker, Trey Young, Joel, Joel MB. Bam from Miami. Bam kind of hard. Brandon Ingram. Jimmy Bam went Butler, crazy in the skills competition. Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Kyle Lowry, and then Chris Middleton. Bro, how is Kyle Lowry a six-time All-Star? What the hell? Who you want to see? <coughs> yeah, that's the thing. Who you want to see that you're not seeing an All-Star game this year? Shit. Anybody? Jimmy Butler. For sure. Jimmy My Butler. Uh, who else I want to see in that motherfucker? Zion. Bro, he was he just nigga, got back. Fuck that nigga. You asked me who I wanted to see. <laughs> he Zion. just got back. Bro. Uh, who put D Wade in that motherfucker? Who else I wanted to see on that motherfucker? Uh, John Collins. Shit. Put D Wade in that bitch. Nah, D Wade. He shouldn't even made it last year, in my opinion. <laughs> let me let me see what his stats was. Mm. Nigga. Nah, but Team LeBron damn near is gonna win. LeBron stacked his team, and Giannis just blew like, he picked D-Way his home. D Wade really was shit, shitty though. <laughs> Come it's on, we're not gonna talk about D Wade, bro. We're not gonna talk really about D Wade. We gonna have to say that for later. All right, come on. He he averaged fourteen points last year. Come on, D Wade. You could do better, bro. Damn, I wanted. I like to see D'Angelo Russell too. Yeah, Bradley. He Bill. was on there last year though. Yeah, Bradley Bill was going off last year too. And fuck D Lo. Put sad nigga. But now, um, so let's talk about since we talking about NBA and stuff, uh Kyrie, he had the, the Joe Fresh Good or Joe Fresh Good at the collab with Kyrie. I don't know if you saw it, um, but it's hot. It's some new balance. I ain't never seen no new balance go for twelve hundred dollars. But I thought Kyrie was signed a Nike. No, Kyrie signed a new balance. I mean God damn boy. Well, you up, I be bro. fucking up. <laughs> Kawhi, we gonna talk about Kawhi Lennon got the Kawhi Lennon got the um the New Balance Club. Motherfucker. But Joe Fresh goods. I'm getting too old for this shit. What you too old for? 
Man, these shits, they straight, bro. It looks how lights even got down. Strawberry short came up. Exactly, but they going for twelve hundred yeah. on StockX, and then them the other one, them the Hooper ones. He did a he did a uh, like nine ninety two, which is the classic pair. No emotions are emotions. And then he did the uh, like a little basketball New Balance. I, I think they called the N ones or something. Uh, they go, Omni ones. Yeah, Omni ones. Yeah. Um, Joe Fresh good here Chicago design. I've been rocking this stuff for a long time, so it's it's big to see him do do shit like this. This is a huge. Don't number. you got one of these hats? Yeah, okay. this, is, this is a McDonald's collab, actually. Okay. He did a McDonald's collab. This was free. They gave it out. You, you just had to buy anything. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, he hard. I, yeah, he been going crazy for All-Star Weekend, but no, nah, that's 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 tough because you don't, you don't get to see a New Balance shoe that, that much, especially, you feel me, in that light. Speaking of shoes, you fucking with them new Retro Files? Yeah, the Off-White or the V-Longs. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, whatever the fuck these shits is. The V-Long, them the Virgil bitches. Yeah, they cool, but man, do you feel like Off White is overrated? Like, that's what I was about to say. I don't want to see Virgil just they go beyond this tall ass. I don't want to see Virgil just you feel me put his stamp on every Jordan, but like, all right, well, you could have did the ones because everybody do ones. That's a silhouette of Jordan, but like, god damn, bro, like, bro, but yeah. Kanye was in the city with the the dump trucks passing out Yeezys. <laughs> like he said, hey, take them weak ass Nikes off your feet, put these Yeezys on. Would you do it? Mm. You like Reebok though. Yeah, I'm a, I'm more of a Puma Reebok. Yeah, so so if if, if a nigga say take them Pumas off, <laughs> put these Yeezys on. What you doing? Bitch, I wear what I, I wear what I want to wear. Nigga say this for Nipsey. I'm not, I'm not finna be one of your goddamn brand ambassadors for free, nigga. Yeah, you ain't gonna lie, you had these motherfuckers, <laughs> bro. The shoes cost like a rack. Bro, oh, I don't back. You, that's a free fuck. come up. No. Mm mm. Tweaking. I I got stand on mine. Your Reeboks, boy. I'll be on the block with them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, little baby. Yeah, boy, stop. Baby, but, got, baby got the rebots from us. <laughs> Come on now, y'all know Florida set 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 the trend for the rebots now. Come on now, dope boy Reese. Come on now, call that Ben telling y'all. I don't know. I feel like Reebok just been a dope boy. And then so really, I ain't gonna, I ain't like, gonna even count. And Seti all Hendricks across, was all the first countries. person to even wear the dicky suit, and then everybody started stealing his sweat. I'm telling you, bro, he was wearing it way last I remember year. my cousin actually was trapping in Dixie suit, like 2005 type shit. I'm like, what? I mean, they was obviously <laughs> trapping in them back in the day, but nah, yeah, lovely. who brought them back? Yeah. But I'm not going to, I mean, I've been, you, I've been seeing them bitches for a while now. I don't know how long Sadie Hendricks had his on, but I'm not, yeah, I've been seeing them because I remember it was a point in time they was in Chicago was tailoring the Dickie suits and then they was, uh, you feel me, like wearing them skinny as hell. Oh uh, yeah, everybody in Chicago. I know you, I just seen them lyrical lemonade. Them bitches is ugly as hell. Everybody in Chicago had a drop of shoes. My homie, shout out to my homie Dez from Fat Tiger. Uh, yeah, I'm you gonna put your shoes on here too. He dropped some. Uh, I'm some, fucking with these Air Jordan ones. He dropped some Adidas. Adidas though. Uh, we all we got Adidas. And my birthday next brands. Tuesday, bro. If y'all see this, I need an Air Jordan one Chinese New Year's size it's ten and a half. Ugly. Are you sleeping? That's what you like. No, that's cool. I mean, I know it's cool, nigga. Yeah, it's cool. But yeah, man. So that's it, bro. Another episode of Explicit Content. We'll be back with you. Thank you for coming on here today with me, Law. Hey, man, make sure you follow me. Yeah, it's your boy, Law. Plug yourself. At 1AIDLAW. You did what I'm saying. You got anything coming up you want to let the people know about? Or you all good? Man. Like you said. I'm coming up. You did what I'm saying. Just be on the lookout for me totally as a brand in the entirety. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I might be with your bitch. Lay it up. Fuck it. I don't know. Fuck. Fuck it. All right, my boy, appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> right. Roger, what you think? <laughs>